Hello there, today we'll be doing Evaluate Reverse Polish Notation. In this particular problem, we are given a array of items. These are called tokens, and these tokens are string typed. And we have uh, numerals and also, uh, you know, the, the operators of plus, minus, division, and uh, multiplication. And we need to make sure that they are evaluated properly. By properly, I mean... Um, what happens whenever we see a operator that means that there's a parentheses around it and that we must operate it immediately and so um, basically we're gonna put items into a stack and then once we see an operator we'll operate on those two items and then have a new number in our stack and then when we see another operator we'll operate on the previous two stacks also, uh, the, it's guaranteed that this expression is valid and there will be no division by zero. So uh, there is not much that we need to take care of other than the stack. So uh, let's get this uh, stack. Uh, let's show you how that works. So let's, um, I think this is very important. And so let's do it. So uh, two, and we see a two. So our pointer is here. We put the 2 in, we put the 1 in, we have an addition sign, that means that we have to take our first item and put it on the uh, right side, and take our second item and put it on the left side, and now we have the 2 plus 1, which is 3. So with that, uh, we can now put 3 in, and the multiplication sign, that means we can put take the left side, take the first item, put it on the right side, take the next item, put it on the left side, and now we have 3 times 3, which is 9. Um, and that is our answer. So, uh, I think that shows us how to this problem works, and how the stacking works. Alright, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's make a stack, and let's make a set of operands, um, operators, Let's set that equal to set, and let's put these items in. There is another way to do this, um, using a dictionary and having um, functional programming. But, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, it's fancy and everything, but I think this is good enough. So, okay, for token, in tokens, um, if token is in the operator, that means we need to make an operation. So num is equal to operate a stack of um, dot pop. And if uh, the operators of is um, equal, uh, sorry, operator if token. Is equal equal to this particular operator of plus. Then, um, what that means is that our stack at negative one, the most recent item, is equal to stack at negative one plus uh, the number. And else if token is equal equal to um, minus stack negative one. The most recent item is going to be equal to minus num elif token equal equals multiplication stack negative one equals stack most recent item times number and lastly we just do an else statement make this easier for us the last item is equal to divided by num all right with that uh, let's do an else statement and stack dot append int token with that we can return the stack at position zero and we are good to run the code oh 6.6 .6, right so this has to be an int um, because we need to ground our um, or divisions and now we can submit 
base 10. Oh, shoot. Uh, this was an addition. This is a multiplication. I don't know what happened there. Um, maybe a typo. Okay, it looks good. Uh, we have achieved one of the fastest submission times. The reason why this is pretty fast is because uh, compared to the other method, uh, functional programming, we have to pop twice. Pop, And th in this particular version, we only have to pop once. Same as operation. Um, yeah. I. What is the lesson here about stacks? Um, it's it's about using a stack to achieve. Um, I mean, it's just about using the structure of the stack at this point. This particular problem, um, and how we we can op what we need to just do to operate on the stack and how to use it. Um, that's all. So, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you want more videos, check the link in the description below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.